every single Star Wars game currently in development. I've seen a lot of people say that they're losing track of the amount of Star Wars games in development right now, which is fair enough as there is a lot of them and the list is growing constantly and it did again grow just as recent as last week. So I thought in this video I'd compile every single confirmed Star Wars game in development, so no speculation, just the concrete facts, with a brief of how far into development that it is, what it is, and when we could be seeing it. All of this is in light of another fine addition to the collection, with Skydance Media's Star Wars game led by Uncharted's director Amy Hennig announced last week. And I mean the list of upcoming Star Wars games is getting seriously spicy. Now before we dive into all of that we do have a sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Ownersaber.com, a long time sponsor of the channel that you guys seem to be loving. These guys sell absolutely incredible high quality lightsabers and they are currently running 20% off all lightsabers across their store. And for the remainder of April they will be throwing in a free stand to showcase off your lightsaber, so there's not long left until this deal is done. If you do buy a lightsaber, just know that the stand won't show up in your cart upon purchase, but it will be shipped to you, so don't worry about that. So head on over there to ownersaber.com, their link will be in the description below. Pick yourself up a lightsaber for 20% off and that free stand. And a big thank you to Ownersaber for once again supporting the channel. So, every single confirmed Star Wars game in development. Let's dive into it. Number 1, Amy Hennig's Star Wars game from Skydance Media. The most recent addition to the catalogue of upcoming Star Wars games is the possible revival of the infamous cancelled Visceral Games project from a few years ago. With the game seeming to take place during the original trilogy, this game is likely to be a scoundrel based game focusing on the underbelly of Star Wars if its ties to Visceral's cancelled Star Wars game are anything to go by. With no rough timeline for the game's release, it's fair to say that this game is still a fair few years away. It's almost certainly going to be a single player offering, so another one. Either way, it seems fans are finally going to get that Amy Hennig Star Wars crossover that they were robbed of all those years ago. Number 2, Respawn Entertainment's First Person Shooter. A confirmation from just a couple of months ago, EA and Respawn Entertainment are teaming up again to work on a brand new Star Wars first person shooter. This is the game that I am watching with great interest. This game could be absolutely anything. Peter Hirschman, who was one of the producers on the original Battlefront games from LucasArts, is leading the Respawn FPS. So that's exciting in of itself. And the fact that Respawn, of course, were behind the incredible Titanfall games, this new FPS has so much potential and although its current release date is unknown, I think this one could be coming much sooner than the majority of the large-scale single-player Star Wars games that we know about. Number 3, Respawn Entertainment's RTS. Respawn will be helping to produce this strategy game and Bit Reactor will be the ones making the game. Not much is known about this game at all, but for its niched market, this game is going to help diversify the Star Wars game experience going forward. It's entirely possible that this could be one of the games that we see sooner rather than later. Number 4, Jedi Fallen Order's sequel. The Jedi Fallen Order sequel is probably the highest profile game of the upcoming Star Wars game catalogue and luckily it's probably the one that we will see the soonest. Respawn are looking to unveil their sequel to the massively successful Jedi Fallen Order in what looks to be Star Wars Celebration in a month's time. Darth Vader and Cal Kestis are sure to be going for a round 2 with returning and new characters set to show up. Jedi Fallen Order sequel is looking to be one of the Star Wars games with the highest potential and will be a sorely needed home run for EA after a couple of years of underwhelming contributions to the Star Wars game space. Jedi Fallen Order sequel could possibly release as soon as this year, but 2023 is not out of the question, but we will know for sure in just a matter of weeks. Number 5, Ubisoft's open world Star Wars game. One of the shock announcements at the beginning of 2021 was that Ubisoft are working on an open world Star Wars game, looking to be one of the key pillars of the next generation of Star Wars games. Lucasfilm Games have teamed up with Ubisoft and the division developers Massive Entertainment to deliver what is sure to be a dream come true for almost every single Star Wars fan. With the game having almost two years of production time sunk into the project already, we'll probably see and hear much more on this game in 2023 as almost every single detail regarding the game is shrouded in the unknown. But regardless, this is one of the most anticipated Star Wars games to ever exist. Number 6, Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic Remake Without a doubt, one of the most exciting upcoming Star Wars games is Aspire Media's KOTOR Remake. 
This game was officially announced last year and is expected to be modernizing the gameplay and some minor changes, but overall keeping the story of Knights of the Old Republic intact. The game is set to be released on PS5 and PC, with an Xbox release still up in the air. Aspire have been responsible for many Star Wars game ports recently, and Lucasfilm Games clearly were impressed and entrusted them to bring us a remake of arguably the best Star Wars game to ever exist. There is no official release date for the KOTOR remake, but 2023 seems to be a fairly strong starting point. Number 7. Star Wars Eclipse Star Wars Eclipse is one of the rare confirmed games that we actually have a trailer for, albeit a cinematic trailer for a game that's still years away. What was seen from this game's vision was positive to say the least, taking place in the High Republic, spanning across multiple protagonists with possible multiplayer elements. Eclipse is shaping up to be a unique Star Wars game experience, taking place in a time period that we haven't seen in this format before. Although the game recently was supposedly facing a 2027 to 2028 release, recent reports suggest that things are actually going much better for this project than initially anticipated and a 2025 release date could still be on the cards for Star Wars Eclipse. And lastly, number 8, Star Wars Hunters. Star Wars Hunters is confirmed for a full release sometime in 2022. The game is made purely for Nintendo Switch and mobile, so it's not the AAA epic that Star Wars fans are hoping for, but it is helping to diversify the portfolio of upcoming Star Wars games. A third-person action game with an arena-style format, Hunters is a fairly basic, minor-scale multiplayer experience that select people have gotten their hands on already. However, the game will be getting its full release to mass audiences in 2022. So, that was every single confirmed Star Wars game in development right now. I stress confirmed, there could very well be a lot more. It really is an impressive lineup that I personally cannot wait for. There is one thing missing from this lineup, and that is a large-scale multiplayer game like a Battlefront game. Although this lineup is impressive, a lot of people are starting to become more and more frustrated at the lack of multiplayer and continuous single-player announcements. Especially in light of yet another single-player game with Amy Hennig's Star Wars game announced last week. But this list is constantly expanding and I wouldn't be surprised if this game pushes to over 10 confirmed games by the end of the year with a large scale multiplayer game in there somewhere. It's staring Lucasfilm games right in the face and I'm sure someone will jump on this massive opportunity very soon. But regardless, an incredible catalogue of confirmed upcoming Star Wars games and we'll be covering them all on the channel right here. So make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on and drop a like if you are hyped for these games and let me know in those comments which of these games are you most excited for. And remember to check out our incredible sponsors ownersaber.com through the link in the description below. But that is it for me today. Thank you for watching and have a good one.